Okay, so we're given two parabolas, y equals x squared and y equals x minus two squared plus 12. And we have to find an equation for the common tangent line drawn to both of the parabolas. Let us develop some notations. Let's let f of x to be x squared and g of x to be the other function x minus two squared plus 12, which is also x squared minus four x plus four plus 12 is plus 16. And so if you wanna apply the derivative, we should say that the derivative should be the slope of the tangent line at that point. So I think we should introduce a first coordinate of the first point of tangency to be A and the X coordinate of the second point of tangency to be called B. I think that's all what we need because the Y coordinates are then F of A and G of B. And that's concrete. F of A is A squared and G of B is B minus two squared plus 12. Let's see, we differentiate both functions. F prime of X is two X and G prime of X is two X minus four. And so if we evaluate the first function's derivative at A, that should be the slope, right? So this slope should be F prime at A and G prime at B. And this should give us two equations. That means that the slope of this line should be f prime of a is just 2a and g prime of b is 2b minus 4. And for the common tangent lines, that slope should be the same. So a equals b minus 2. So b is a plus 2. This is a very nice connection between the two unknowns. Basically, the two points of tangencies, the x coordinates are two units apart. But we don't have the solution yet. What we're going to need to do is to find a third way to express the slope, and that is by using these two points. So if we apply the, the slope formula for these two points, that should be the same slope. So that same slope, which is 2a, should be the same as g of b minus f of a, the two y coordinates divided by b minus a. So 2a should be the same. g of b is b minus 2 squared plus 12, right, g of x is x minus two squared plus 12. So we just substitute b into that. Minus f of a, that's just a squared, divided by, and b minus a should be two. If we go back to here, b minus a is two. So that's kind of nice. And there is one more nice thing going for us here. You see this b minus two? That is a very easy substitution to substitute a into that. So two a should be the same as a squared plus 12 minus a squared over two. So what we have now is not only that the equation is in one variable, but it's not even quadratic anymore, right? We have two a to be six and therefore a equals three. That is the X coordinate of the first point of tangency. So the, the first point of tangency is three nine and the slope, which should be two a is six. So that it is using the point slope form, y minus nine equals six times x minus three. Or if we distribute and add nine, we get y equals six x minus 18 plus nine is minus nine. And so there is the equation. Thank you for watching.